We are gonna continue, ladies and gentlemen. A little while ago, we managed to unlock by far the rarest gun in Battlefield 1, the Peacekeeper. Today, we're going back to Battlefield 4, which is already a nine year old game, and we're gonna unlock, again, a secret, kinda overpowered item that almost nobody has. It all starts on the map Legacy Operations or Dragon Valley, and it has to be an unranked server. Of course, I couldn't find one on the PS4, so I had to spend money and rent my own private server. Yes, unfortunately, I had to give EA my money, so please drop a like on this video for my suffering. So here we are on Dragon Valley, and this is primarily where the Easter egg will take place. As you can see, we are near the temple, and if you go to the right side of the temple, right here is a very familiar looking skull. Now obviously this is the Phantom Program skull, everybody knows it by now, and this was pretty much the first indicator that there was something here. Now to make a long story short, as you can see here, there are several lights on the ceiling of this temple, and some of them are actually lit, like this one and this one. There are 20 in total, and obviously the main objective is to figure a way to light them all up at once. Here is another one. So how do we do that? Well, again, it's actually pretty simple. You need to go to an unranked server and you need to find seven hidden switches that are, you know, hidden all over this map. The first one is actually really close by. It's right here. You can interact with it. There you go. And if we now go back towards the lights, you can see that some of them have now turned on like this one and this one. So now that we know this, all we have to do is find the other six switches, turn them on and off and see which lights, you know, correspond with those switches and figure out a way how to light them all up at once. Now, obviously I have a guide once again, this time by Ghost Gaming. Again, I will link it down below. It's an excellent guide. So let's do it. Now, like I said, they are hidden all across the map. So for easy traversal, we're going to use the helicopter. So the first one we're going to take a look at is on this Whatever this thing is, I know it has a name, but I don't remember. But it's on the second level, if we can actually get there without destroying ourselves. Hold up, hold up. Okay, no. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, and jump out. There we go. Well, we lost the helicopter, but it doesn't matter. Because if you go here, you can already see one of the switches. So now... You interact with it and you're actually going to use the MAV that we stationed earlier on. So now you're going to use the MAV to manually check the lights. So here we go. This is light number one. Remember to use the same light or corner every time you start counting. So this is one. Let's do this quickly. Now there is a special little program you can use to fill in the numbers of the lights in order to figure out what to do in the end. So we'll get to that. Okay. And remember to turn it back off. There we go. Now the second switch we're gonna try to locate is actually extremely hidden. It is located inside of a tree and I don't remember which one it was. I think it was this one. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was this one. So we're gonna try to park our helicopter right here. There we go. There goes the helicopter. And all you need to do now is actually blow up this tree with a set of C4. This is actually ridiculous. How did, how did people find this? Anyway, as you can see, there is the switch. There we go. And once again, we're gonna try to locate the lights that have been turned on because of this one. So again, we're gonna start with the first light in this corner. Okay, there we go. And once again, turn this off. Now the next one is once again extremely hidden and I still don't know how people found it, but it's right over here in this building. So let's jump out. Hopefully we don't die. There we go. Nice landing. It's inside this little building. And in this building is a furnace. Now you can already guess. It is actually inside the furnace. Where is it? Look at this. Who does this? The developers are cruel, man. The switch is hidden in this furnace. Anyway, there we go. Interact. And check the lights. I'm gonna go over this quickly, you guys know the gist by now. And turn it back off again. Now the next one is right over here on this pier, or under this pier I should say. Let's see, you need to go prone right here. And it should be... where is it? It's very hidden obviously, there it is, there's the switch. So once again, interact and let's do it. Okay, next up, wait, wait. 
turn this off. I almost forgot. If I for if I forgot it right there, this whole thing would have been screwed. Now for the next one, we don't actually have to redeploy. We just get one of these jet skis. And the next switch is actually near the waterfall. So the cool thing about this easter egg is you actually get to see some of the map, which is pretty dope, I guess. Okay, so here's the waterfall. And it should be somewhere right here. Let's see if we can find it. Please, just don't make it difficult. Just, where is it? Where is that stupid switch? What's this? No, that's not it. There it is. Oh, I'm dying. Interact. Okay. We're good, we're good. Again, you guys know the deal. Okay, after this one, we only have one more to go. Don't forget to turn it back off. No. Why is it so difficult? There we go, we turn it off. And the last switch is actually very easy to find. It should be right there. How about? Perfect landing, pretty much. Okay. And it should be right here. Where is it? Where is it? I'm fairly confident. Or maybe it's this one, actually. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I can find it. I'm starting to get impatient here. Maybe it was this one after all. Or maybe this one. No. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's hidden between the freaking grass. So, turn it on, and one last time. Okay, that was all of them. Turn it back off again. And now, all you need to do is fill in the numbers of the lights that have been turned on each time in this little calculator. And this calculator will tell you exactly which needs to be turned on. And that's pretty much the hardest part of this Easter egg done. So let's do that right now. Okay, after you filled everything in the calculator, you can press run and then it tells you exactly which of the switches needs to be turned on. So we have tree, the pagoda apparently, that's what it's called, and the waterfall. And since we are closest by the waterfall, we're gonna go there first. These steps are basically the same, you just need to know which one to do. So, like I said, first off, the waterfall. There we go, you obviously you leave it on this time. Okay, next up is the tree. If I remember correctly, it's right on this ledge right here. Wait. First of all, why did I die? Let's try that again. So for some reason, I couldn't see. Oh, there it is, okay, now I see it. Okay, very easy, easy now, easy now. There you go. You just stay there, we just need to turn on this switch. There we go. And the last switch is right over there. Now, I don't trust myself, so I'm just gonna hop out right here. Perfect landing as always. Now we should be hearing a double beep when we turn on this switch. Let's listen. There it is. You hear the double beep? So we know we're good. We know we're good. We're gonna use the helicopter to go back to the temple and that should be it pretty much. Okay, there we go, sorry about that. So after the double beep, we can go back to the temple and as you can see now, all of the 20 lights are now turned on permanently. So we know we did it correctly, but if you now go towards the Phantom Skull again, right there, if you look behind this pillar, all of a sudden a magic keypad has spawned. Now, we know what code actually to put in. It's this. Now, how people actually found out about this code is pretty interesting. If you put in a random number, for example, this one, it will start flashing, surprise, surprise, Morse code. And this Morse code message will actually guide you towards a certain spot on the nighttime version of the Zavod map. If you go to this spot and listen carefully, you will hear this. Now, it sounds very strange, but if you actually take that audio and speed it up, you will actually hear Neebs Gaming.
Now, I don't know who came up with it, but if you actually take those words of Neeps Gaming and multiply them with the alphabet and stuff like that, yada, 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 you get a certain code. And that is the code we need to insert in this keypad. So let's do that right now. So it's A39808000000. Let's go. 8398000. Eight, zero, zero, and then three more zeros. One, two, three. There we go, double beep. So we know we did it correctly. And yet again, we get a new Morse code message. Now this is actually a pretty lengthy message. You can decode this message by using one of those Morse code light reader programs. And I'm sure there are also some apps on your phone that can do this. Now, if we fast forward a bit and read the entire translated message, it says, to claim your prize now, join a ranked Conquest large game, stand at the west side of the shaft of the Northwestern Water Tower for two minutes, then use this individual code, 605-666-56. And don't forget to subscribe to d YouTube channel, which is absolutely insane that they put it in the game again. First the Peacekeeper Easter egg in Battlefield 1, and now this Easter egg in Battlefield 4. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. It would mean a lot. Even the game says it. Okay, so now that we know how to unlock this thing, let's go into a ranked Conquest Large server on Dragon Valley, wait near the water tower, and hopefully it will work. And that's pretty much it. This is the final step. We're now gonna unlock it. If something goes wrong, then I, I give up officially. Okay, here we are again in Dragon Valley. Now all we need to do is go to the Northwestern Water Tower and wait for two minutes. So let's find it. There's the temple, obviously, where we did the Easter egg. And the Water Tower is right there. So let's jump out. And now we need to wait for two minutes right here. Let's fast forward. Oh, the suspense is killing me. I just hope we did everything correctly. We did hear the double beep, so it should be working, right? There it is. Oh, it spawned right on time. Let's interact. There we go, and again a double beep, and now one final code in this keypad. So we know what to do. Our individual code is six, zero, come on, five, six, 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 five, and six. Come on. Yes! Oh my goodness. Thank you very much, Neeps. Thank you very much. How the hell did somebody manage? I have a password, so I don't know how these people can get in. But regardless, regardless of the one individual, as you can hear by Neeps Gaming screaming promoted, we finally unlocked the item. Now, if you're wondering what it is, I'm gonna show you right now, I'm so happy. So in order to show you what the new item actually does, I'm gonna use the MAV. So the MAV, alongside other things, will use thermal imaging. And as you can see, soldiers and vehicles and stuff like that are extremely visible. Bright white light in the middle of this dark environment. So it's very visible to see. But the item we just unlocked is the new special DICE LA camo. It used to say exclusively for the developers of Battlefield 4 in Los Angeles, but now we can unlock it as well. And as you can see, it is some sort of a white camo, but if you actually look at it with thermal imaging, look at that, it's almost non-existent. It, there is no thermal imaging with this camo. And as you can imagine, in certain maps like with a dust storm or people using thermal imaging scopes, it is extremely, extremely useful. Look at that, you, you're pretty much invisible to the background. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Look at the, look at the legs. What the hell? Wow, what is this? How did he get in my server? This is a private password protected server. Anyway, I think that's a perfect ending to the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I spent a lot of time, but not as much time as the Battlefield 1 Peacekeeper Easter Egg. But still, it was a lot of fun. You can do it too. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. You can also join the Discord server. Link for that is down below. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.